what's up and welcome back to my channel all right so a lot of you guys have asked me to make a video on this so I'm going to make a video on this um I wanted to first wait to get all the information that I could um because there was a little bit of confusion for me because there were so many videos flying around and I couldn't see who was who and what was what um so I had to let it soak in for a little bit now I really recommend some of you guys do that a lot of you guys watch my videos and you clearly have no context, very little information on what the situation is that I'm talking about, just based on the comments that I see you make. So take some time, slow down, do your research. Now, let's talk about this shooting in Kenosha uh, with Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse. He is a 17 year old high school dropout. Yes, he's a high school dropout big freaking deal okay i keep seeing that go around the internet and i am just like you guys are we really like grasping at straws here just to like defame somebody's character there's plenty of people a lot of the people that you guys support um that have dropped out of high school and that really doesn't mean anything richard branson who owns virgin airlines is one of them aretha franklin who was a uh, amazing iconic uh, gospel and soul singer, uh, Rihanna, hello, we don't even have to mention, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jay-Z, and Walt Disney. Yes, Walt Disney dropped out of high school at 16, and look what he accomplished. So you guys, stop, stop. When I make videos about people and I mention their past, okay, I'm not talking about, like, little things and, and and trying to bring up like insignificant you know information just to like you know make them look bad i talk about legal things or instances where they've broken the law that justify or show an example of their character okay so yeah everybody makes mistakes everybody does stuff in their life even me if you were to go into my background i'm sure you would find something that would offend somebody or that i maybe said and didn't mean or hurt somebody's feelings of course we're all gonna have that that's not a big deal but this um habit that we have you know to automatically jump on this kid because oh he's white he shot somebody he shot a blm protester a white blm protester or two blm protesters who were white okay i find that so funny i find it so funny that i don't think any black people were actually involved and and we're jumping all over this like you know this guy's a white supremacist you can't kill a white blm supporter and be a white supremacist. <laughs> like that's how delusional you guys are about this, okay? Anyways, so this kid was involved in a shooting. He was out there uh, with his, um, I don't know if this guy was his father or a friend of the family. I'm hearing that his mother was also out there as well. Um, he gave an interview basically explaining what he was doing out there. He stated that he was out there to help protect businesses um, tend to people who were injured or needed, you know, defensive support. Um, he had a rifle with him. Um, and he was also, like I said, with another guy who also was armed as well. Now I haven't fully looked up the laws as far as carrying a weapon in Wisconsin, considering he is from Illinois. Okay. So I don't know how that all works if, um, because my understanding is, is that you have to be 14 to uh, carry a rifle in the state of Wisconsin, but you have to be 18 to carry a handgun. Um, I don't know if that applies to like everyday situations like a concealed carry or if that just applies to like hunting purposes. I don't know. Okay. I'm openly stating that I don't know. Now, regardless, okay, this kid was out there. He stated in an interview that everybody has seen, that he was out there to help, that he was out there to protect, that he was out there to do good, okay? And a gentleman, a protester, gets shot in the head. I think there were a total of six or seven shots fired. Now, when I heard these shots, 
three shots sounded different from the other three shots or from the other, you know, the, the first three shots sounded different from the shots that followed. So, you know, that makes me wonder, how do we know who shot who and where the bullets came from that entered the guy's head that you see in the video, okay? That's one question I have. It hasn't been proven that it's come from Kyle's gun. However, okay, you see him in the video run over to this person Okay, so my question is, if you are trying to kill somebody, if you're trying to be out, out there being a white supremacist, trying to target and kill people, why would you shoot somebody and run over to them to help them? Just think about that for a second. Um, so he runs over there to try to render aid. He's there with another gentleman who you see take off his shirt. Um, and then some other people come. And then all of a sudden you see Kyle on his phone and it appears like he's going to get help, okay? Now, I want to put into perspective, and this is the thing that I wanted to understand was like the time frame in which this all happened because you see the video of him in the parking lot of the car dealership and then you see the video of him out in the street, um, in the middle of the street where he then gets attacked again. Um, and I just couldn't understand like, you know, had he been walking a long time? Like how far from the scene was he? He was really within a one to two block radius. So I'll put like a screenshot of like an aerial view of the area that we're talking about here and I'll draw a circle around it so you can see, just so you can kind of get an idea. So he, he gets on the phone, I'm assuming to call 911, and then he runs out into the street I'm assuming to go get help. Now, as he is walking down the street, um, I see it's just him. I don't see him walking with any of the people that he was there with initially. And he gets attacked. He gets attacked by a few people. One guy with a skateboard who I believe is now dead because he got shot. Okay. And then another guy that tried to, um, Oh, one guy tried to chase him with the brick and hit him in the head from behind. Another guy hit him in the back, which is what um, threw him down to the ground. Um, I think he got kicked in the head or somebody attempted to kick him in the head. And then, of course, he had a gun pulled him on him by one guy. And then another guy hit him with a skateboard. So just that being said, just from what I saw, okay, just from what I saw, all you people out there that want to come at me in the comments, just from what I saw. Okay. He looks to be defending himself. Okay. He looks to be defending himself. Yes, he shot the guy that hit him with the skateboard, but out of defense. Okay. So in my opinion, in my opinion, listen up. In my Opinion. This is all justified as self-defense and lethal force seems warranted in this situation. Okay. Now I know all you people that love to get in my comments and say, mm, but what about this? And what about Jacob Bray? And what about how the police did this? You guys, this wasn't a police incident, number one. Okay. This wasn't a situation of the police being called to the scene of a crime, okay, to assist or to be involved in, and they encounter a criminal who has a past, who is either currently or has committed criminal activity, who has an open warrant, who's on drugs, who's fighting the police, who gets shot because he doesn't listen to the police. That is not this situation, okay? I know you guys, want, and I know what you're going to say. See, she's racist. She's a white supremacist. No, I'm just smart. I'm just logical. I just look at the facts. Okay. So the fact is, if you're putting this in the perspective of legalities, okay, as of right now, it looks to be a clear cut case of self-defense. Now, here's the part that some of you guys might like that I have to say. My personal opinion Okay, just like what I have said with my other videos, because I like to stay consistent, is you have choices in life. And whatever choice you make, be it a good choice, be it a risky choice, be it a bad choice, 
be it a unknown of what the consequences are going to be choice, there is always a consequence to your choice. And yes, that also happens to people who have good intentions, which I believe Kyle had good intentions, okay? But I want to stress to anybody who wants to go out into these streets and riot and act a fool or anybody who wants to go out into these streets and do the right thing and try to protect people, you too are taking a risk, okay? Not that you deserve to get jumped and hit with a skateboard and beat up and kicked in the head or thrown a brick, just like George Floyd and Jacob and Brianna didn't deserve to die, okay? It is possible that you can die when you make a choice to put yourself in this type of situation. It is a risk you take, just like people who go into the military and choose to defend this country honorably. They know that there is a very real possibility that they could die doing that job, okay? So I say that to point out the fact that I always talk about making good decisions and understanding that your decisions lead you to where you are in life today. It doesn't matter if where you're at in life today is great. It doesn't matter if where you're at in life today is bad. It doesn't matter if where you're in life today is mediocre. Your decisions yesterday, last week, last year led you there, okay? So I say, I've said my piece on this. I personally think he is going to, um, I mean, he is uh, facing homicide charges because he did he did shoot somebody. That's not, that's not in question. He did shoot somebody. Um, but without myself knowing the legalities and all that other stuff, um, I don't know how severe his punishment is going to be. He may, um, you know, get off altogether on self-defense charges. I don't know. There may be some charge for him carrying a, a weapon at the age of 17 in another city. I don't know. Again, I don't know how the law works around those specific things. So, that's what I have to say about it. I hope you guys um, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below, okay? I'm gonna post a link to some of the videos that you can watch if you wanna see uh, the, the, the videos of the shooting. There was a really good analysis from a legal standpoint that I'll also post below um, so that you guys can check that out from another channel because I love to give attention to other channels that you know are putting out good content. Um, but if you like this video, please share it, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notifications when I go live with another video again. Thank you guys so much and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.